Hello everyone, this is Story Majesty. Welcome to part three of the admin. So here we go. Exuma paced around the perimeter of the operation, but couldn't see any threat. It was getting dark out, and he had been there for hours. I'm heading back here, O'Brien, he told him. There's nothing out here. I'm getting the same readings, he said. Resume perimeter search tomorrow. Zuma started heading back when he heard the, a noise in the bushes. He went to check and saw a small creature. Hello, little one, he said. Where in the world did you come from? The creature crawled closer to him and sniffed his hand. It glowed brightly and climbed on his shoulder. I'm guessing you want to head back to our base, Zuma asked. They walked back to the base and met up with Herobrine, Ewi Stream, and Eve. I brought a new friend, Zuma said. They looked at Eve and jumped in shock to, in relief. How in the Minecraft realm did you survive? She asked the creature. Oh, I've been so worried. You know this creature? Zuma asked. This creature is actually a Meomorpher, she said. He's actually one of the greatest allies I've ever met. The creature dropped from Exuma's shoulders and transformed into a man. He was in a different type of armor and he car carried a double-edged sword. That's better, okay. he said. Good to see you again, my dear. Where's your brother? He's out with another person, she told him. The man turned it to the others. Allow me to introduce myself, he said. I am Morpheus, Morph for short. I was the first to one of, to be a shapeshifter in my village, go against Hades. Glad to have you here, Herobrine told him. We will need all the help we can get. Morpheus smiled, then looked into the forest. Someone's coming, he said. Wait here while I deal with them. Morpheus went in and stopped in the middle of the forest. He turned and waved a hand. It's all right, he called. Your friend is back from the den dimension. Everyone walked to Soaring. They saw he, that he was wounded slightly, but he got the elytras. Take this, Morpheus said. Now help your wounds. Soaring stared at him and took the he healing powder. Thanks, he said. I never thought I'd see you again. It has been a long time, my old friend. He told him, but you haven't aged in years. Thorin told him the story, and Morpheus raised his eyebrows. That explains everything that's going on. He said, you'll need all the help you can get. It's a six-month trip to Hades Castle. I have friends along the way that can help. I'm sorry, said Thorin, but Irene wants only my team to defeat Hades. Actually, Herobrine said, Irene wants all the help we can get. Then it's settled said Morpheus. We'll leave at dawn. I suggest grabbing bags to slung over your shoulders to, for each individual. Morpheus walked to an empty area and reached out his hand. A house materialized out of thin air and he walked into it. Thorin stared in disbelief. He can do that? He asked Eve. Yes, Eve said. He's one of the very few that can materialize anything out of thin air. It actually ha came in handy in the first war he was in. The first war, Thorin exclaimed, wasn't that a few hundred years ago? Eve nodded. Morpheus is actually as old as Hades, she told him. He is actually another god. He was, in fact, the original, before Irene. Irene, in God's standards, is basically a teenager. Morpheus stepped down when he saw potential she had. And now he sees danger he put her in, Thorin said. He's here to finish a job. Eve, what are we supposed to do? There's nothing we can do, she said. Morpheus and Hades are immortal enemies. Once Hades picks up his scent, he'll do anything to kill him. Thorin looked at the house and knew that Morpheus will be walking into a death trap. Hades paced throughout his throne room, waiting for his plans to be set in motion. A corrupt spirit came running towards him. Ah, spirit commander. Said Hades, I assume you brought good, mo good news? Spirit Commander spouted very low. Indeed, my lord, said the Spirit Commander. The weapon is ready to be used. We have harnessed the Void's energy. Excellent, growled Hades. Let us commence the destruction of the Minecraft realm. Hades walked to the control panel and pressed the button. Void energy raced to the outer area of their location and 600 Minecraft chunks disappeared into the void. A work of art, growled Hades. 
these those heroes will now be destroyed. Zuma was close to the base when he heard a low droning noise. He looked over and saw chunks disappearing from a distance. That is not good, he said to himself. I'm going to have to warn the others. He raced to the base. When he got there, he rang the alarm. What's going on? Herobrine asked. Did you see something? About 60 chunks disappeared into the void. Exuma exclaimed, I think Hades has a new weapon. Morpheus came out of his house with a machine gun connected to his arm. He has, Morpheus told them. It won't be long until he destroys our realm. Herobrine, you're with me. The rest of you take down the machine. Morpheus and Herobrine teleported out of the base, leaving the rest of the heroes to just fend themselves. Thorin, what do we do? Zuma asked. The machine took about 60 chunks in our area, said Soaring, and made them disappear into the void. Therefore, the machine is using void energy. We'll need to mine them at a low enough level so that we're not discovered by Hades or his corrupt spirits. But in order to do that, we'll need fireproof uniforms, said Eve Restream. We don't have that. Actually, I made some, said Eve. I figured we would have to do something like this. Put these on. The crafters put on their lava-proof uniforms and dug down to bedrock level. Zimmer then realized something. Hang on, he said. The warden's supposed to be on deep slate level. He's not even here. He took over the end dimension, Thorin told him. That's the reason why we're not allowed access anymore. They traveled to Hades' castle and approached the void gap. I see the machine, Thorin told them. It's on the other side. Rage, use the rocket launcher, said Ted Steve. Rage aimed the rocket launcher at the machine and fired. The machine blew up, and the void energy went back where it used to be. Great, Thorin said. Now we can help Morpheus and Hero Brian. They bridged up to Hades' new castle, Hades castle and stormed in. Morpheus and Hero Brian teleported into Hades' castle, where Hades was waiting for them. Morpheus, Hades growled. Been a long time. How was that retirement? Over, Morpheus told him. Considering you were trying to destroy my daughter. You all knew I would get my revenge, Hades roared. Now, how would you like to be destroyed? Morpheus held up his machine gun and Herobrine summoned a diamond sword. Here at Hades chuckled. Modern with a classic twist. He growled. He summoned his soul blade and charged at them. Herobrine disappeared and reappeared behind him and sent a volley of swipes. Morpheus blasted Hades with bullets. Hades fell to his knees, bleeding. He looked at them, knowing he was about to be beaten. He then sent a shockwave that knocked out them both out. Herobrine was unconscious, but Morpheus was still bleeding, mo not bleeding, moving. Hades walked to Herobrine and raised his sword. So end the great hero Brian, Hades yelled. No, Morpheus yelled. Something stabbed Hades in the back. Hades gasped in pain. He then turned to see his spear commanders behind him, but it was nothing. But with nothing. Spear commander, Hades gasped. How could you? You never had control of me, he said. You should have known that for 16 years. Hades' eyes grew wide. Zarin, he stammered. But you are dead. I'm not, Zarin told him. I have access to the dead. You don't control them. I do. And now your time is up. Zarin and the crafters arrived to see Hades get destroyed by a familiar face. Hades' soul floated, but the familiar face crushed it. Zarin approached him cautiously. Zarin? He asked. Zarin smiled. Hello, brother. Zarin said. They hugged and Zarin looked at him. Does that mean you have access to the dead? He asked. Yes, Zarin told him. And now they can rest. Zarin waved a hand and all the corrupt spirits fell to the ground. Crafters looked around and saw that there were no enemies. Herobrine took out his scanner. The realm has gone back to the way it was before, he told everyone. Balance has been restored. Morpheus walked out of the castle, but Soaring called him. Will you come back? He asked. Morpheus chuckled. 
My friend, he said, Hades is gone and his corrupt spirits are laid to rest. It is now time I have gotten the longer to disturb retirement. See you around, kid. Morpheus glowed intensely and disappeared. We'll see him again, Zarin told him. I'm sure there'll be another adventure. Yeah, Zorin said. But now, let's rest. Here, Brian opened the portal to the real wor world. And the crafters jumped in. Two months later, Zarin and Sorin lived in a small apartment in the Midwest of the United States. Sorin gazed at his well-worn jacket and smiled. The memories of that realm. He said, Hey Sorin, Zarin called. The others are waiting. Sorin went to another, into another room and saw Xuma and the Hermits, Rage and his family, and Eri Stream, and the scary survival list. They were all in a Zoom meeting. Zorin sat down next to Zorin. All right, meeting started. Said Zorin. Exuma, how are things in the UK? Bit warm over here, he said, but I'm adjusting. Some of the hermits are living over here. The others are in your country. I actually got the paperwork, Zorin told him. Eurostream, I need Eve and Tess Steve on high alert. Why? Eurostream asked. Government in Australia wants them arrested for the damage caused 16 years ago. He stated, it would be wise for you all to lay low. The restroom nodded. Rage, Zorin said, take a vacation with your family. You all deserve it. Also, I made arrangements for you to get a different house. Rage's eyes lit up. How did you do that? He asked. I have my ways, Zorin told him. A portal opened up and e Herobrine burst out of it. He was severely wounded and clinging on to life. Zorin rushed to him. He doesn't have much longer, he told Soaring. Herobrine turned to Soaring. Run, he said weakly. Soaring then realized what was hap about to happen. We're on Minecon 1, he told everyone. Get out of here! Everyone left the Zoom meeting, and Soaring and Zarin grabbed their things. Where are we going? Soaring asked him. A bunker that I constructed 17 years back, Soaring told him. I figured... Something like this would happen. It can't be half Hades. Zarin said. No, it's much worse. Zorin said. Morpheus and Irene have betrayed us. And that is part three and the finale of The Admin. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, the story. And if you did, please hit that like and subscribe buttons. And I'll see you all in the betrayal of the Minecraft gods.